Hi guys, this is Mansi, your English educator at An Academy. So welcome to An Academy 9th and 10th, and it's a super amazing session which is going to happen right now. आज हम करने क्या वाले हैं exactly? What is our agenda in this session? So as you can see by the title, let words talk. कितना अच्छा होता ना? We have this concept in English wherein we can at times think about certain ideas and we have whole lot of ideas and in Indian society we Come across whole lot of ideas in Hindi, but when it comes to English, it becomes very difficult for us to translate those words, right? So today we are going to boost our vocabulary by good fifty words using a very simple technique. That is mnemonics. Definitely, आपने पहले भी इसके बारे में सुना होगा. I'm pretty sure about it. And the biggest example of this technique is drip cure. Vibgyar is the word which has Vibgyar is actually the mnemonic which has taken it onto itself to establish establish those words into your mind that tell you about the colors of the rainbow, right? एक बार ही Vibgyar याद हो गया तो कभी भी नहीं भूलते हो that what are the colors of the rainbow? In the very same manner, exactly in the very same manner, we are going to boost our vocabulary. And over here, I have created five pairs. Five pairs going to ten. Why? Because five pairs will tell you the words that are going in the direction of the word that I am going to give you, and five pairs would be that are going to go away in the direction to the word that I am going to give you. So one is going to go into the direction, the other is going to go away in the direction. Clear? Nee samajh hai? Don't worry. We are going to take a one example, and I am damn sure it's going to be super clear. And sare ke sare words are going to pop up. From the word that is your main word, or सबसे बड़ी बात, it is going to give you the meaning also. Vocabulary without meaning doesn't give you any idea of how to use the word. Here, yeah? so let us move forward and take up the very first word of the day. That is alone. Alone का meaning हम सबको पता है. And always understand. While going for vocabulary, do not go for words which are way above your level because of that reason you won't be able to retain anything if you want to retain out words always go for words which are just a level above what you already know and gradually build up here yeah? so the very first word from alone arising is abandoned now a out of alone a for abandoned l for lonesome o for on one's hook on one's own hook n for non gregarious and e for exclusively Now, when something or someone is alone, he is often abandoned by all the people around him, right? तब उसको छोड़ देते हैं, and then he becomes a lonesome. वो अकेला रहता है, he becomes lonely, and उसकी वजह से he has to be on his own hook. He has to do all of it by himself, and then that person becomes non-gregarious. He becomes he often forgets that he is supposed to be sociable. He tends to be alone and does not get mixed up with the society. उसको क्या पसंद आता है कि मैं अकेले ही रहूं एंड देयर फॉर ही लिव्स हिज लाइफ एक्सक्लूसिवली फॉर हिमसेल्फ सो विद दिस टेक्निक व्हेनेवर द वर्ड अलोन वुड पॉप अप इनटू योर माइंड यू हैव टू मेक श्योर द फाइव वर्ड्स दैट आर सराउंडिंग द वर्ड अलोन आल्सो पॉप्स अप इनटू योर माइंड राइट सो द फाइव वर्ड्स आर अबैंडन लोनसम ऑन वंस ओन हुक नॉन रिगारियस एंड एक्सक्लूसिवली These were the words that are going into the direction that were going towards alone. Let us look at the words which are going to go away from this particular word, and that is so. When you are accompanied by somebody, so A for a company, L for link, O for one of many, N for next door, and E for a squad. So out of these five words, when you are accompanied by somebody, you cannot be alone, right? When somebody is accompanying you, how can you be alone? Next one, link. When you are linked along with someone, again you'll not be alone. And when you are one of many in a group, when you are one of many, so that also means that you're not alone. And when somebody lives next door to you, why do you have to feel alone? And in the very same manner, when you are escorted by somebody to a certain place, you don't have to go to that place alone. Clear? Yeah? So with this, you have just finished learning ten words, ten new words. With the help of one word that was alone, clear. Yeah? Let us move forward. Next one in our list is friend. A very simple word, friend. 
but whenever we have to talk about friend or we have to write certain words which are relating to a friend so that is where we miss out on words hame samajh nahi aata hai ki hum kya likhte hain so iska bhi bahut hi simple tarika hai i have a list of six words which are exactly related to the word friend and those six words again are arising from the letters that are appearing in your word friend so f for familiar r for roommate i for intimate e for encourager n for neighborly and d for doppelganger so for a person who is familiar to you you might call him a friend right for a person who is familiar to you usko hum dost bol sakte hain na then your roommate if somebody lives along with you the person might become your friend unless and until the person is very bad in nature next one that we have is intimate so somebody who is very close to you is also your friend next we have in the list is encourage so e for encourage so somebody who encourages you also you can call that person a friend when that person is so nice to you and encourages you why not call him your friend next one is neighborly somebody who is in your neighborhood and acts very nice with you can also be your friend and along with that a doppelganger is somebody who looks just like you who resembles you a lot okay so that is also a person who is somewhat related to you let us move forward next one in the list and now we have to go away from a friend so we have to go to the people whom we would not call our friend whom we would never call our friend so number one is fault finder so f for fault finder r for rival i for ignorant e for enemy n for nemesis and d for disjoint fault finder who is a fault finder somebody who always looks for those faults in you those flaws in you do so you would never want that person to be your friend right a rival rival is an enemy so we have two appropriate synonyms here rival and enemy aapka dushman and then we have ignorant so somebody who acts ignorant or who ignores you would never be your friend why would a friend ignore you unless and until you, you would have had a fight next on the list is nemesis now what does nemesis mean what does nemesis mean nemesis is basically a long standing rival bahut bahut purana dushman so jab bahut purana dushman hai to dost banna to thoda sa mushkil hai and next in the list is disjoint disjoint ka matlab kya hai to separate alag ho jana to jo aapse alag ho gaya wo bhi aapka dost ho ye thoda sa mushkil hai so with this we are up with another pair of words in hardly a few minutes next one in the list is happy all of us know what happy is happy is khush right happy is khush so when you are experiencing a happy situation or a happy occasion in that particular context you would you would actually give this synonym of hardening to that situation hardening is something that literally warms your heart aapko bahut acha lagta hai next we have in the list so we have h for heartening a for auspicious p for propitious and then we have another p which is promising and then y which is yp so starting from heartening jo aapko dil se acha lage something which touches your heart okay next is auspicious which gives you good omen so something that brings you good luck all right is an important occasion and is a happy occasion next we have is propitious so something what do you understand by the word propitious if i may know kya kisi ko pata hai quickly tell me in the live chat if you know it quickly tell me okay so propitious is basically indicating luck just like auspicious exactly just like auspicious propitious also comes from the word prosperous so something that brings prosperity okay next we have is promising so an event which is promising in your life will bring you happiness we always wait for events which are promising next in the list is yp so the best exclamatory words in we, that we have in english and interjection yp whenever you are very happy you say yp right next one so now we are going to go away from happy so now if we go to go from happy if we are going in another direction from happy we would end up at being sad somehow right so basically all of these words have to be negative with happy all right so number one hapless so h for hapless 
A for anguish, P for clinative, and next P is pessimistic, and next Y is yowl. So hapless. Who is a hapless person? Somebody who is misfortunate. Okay. So somebody who is misfortunate might not be happy generally, right? The person would not encounter that much of happiness in his life. Next in the list is anguished. Now, what is anguished? When you are in pain, in physical or mental pain. So when you, when you would be in pain, so you would not be happy for sure. Next one is clinative. A clinative means very simple. So something which is very simple and general won't give you that much of happiness. Next is pessimistic. Now, what is pessimistic? A pessimist. A pessimistic person is basically a gloomy person who always looks out on the negativities of the person and what are the wrong things happening around. So, ऐसा इंसान तो कभी खुशी नहीं रह सकता, right? Next one in the list is yowl. Now, what is yowl? Yowl is again a painful cry. Again a painful cry. That sound that you make when you are in too much of pain. Understood? So, on this note, do you want to know how many words you're up with? So on this note, you have learned 32 words. Yes, 32 words are done. Without even realizing, you just learned 32 words. 32 good words. Okay, let us encounter the next 18. Okay, so starting from, starting with our 33rd word and that, that would be the pair arising from smart. Smart, all of us know what smart is, a very common word. So from smart and going to the direction of smart, we have words like S for sharp-witted, M for meticulous, A for astute, R for resourceful, and T for trained. Now, S for sharp-witted. Sharp-witted ko hota hai? Somebody who has this, who has really very nice brains and is clever. Okay? And is clever enough to deal with any situation. Salak. Next is meticulous. Who is a meticulous person? Who is very careful about everything. He doesn't take anything casually. Okay. Next is astute. Now, who is astute? Astute is again sharp. Somebody who is sharp. All right. Resourceful. A smart person would always come handy when it comes to any work. So, a smart person is definitely a resourceful person. Who would not want a smart person around? You would always want a smart friend, right? In the very same manner, we have trained. So, somebody who is who's smart can be trained easily. And with appropriate training, you gain smartness, right? So these are the words that we're going to word smartness. Now let us look at the words which are going to go away from smartness. So which do not have smartness in it. So again, starting with S for slow-witted, M for mindless, A for air-headed, R for rustic, and T for thick-headed. Now, who is a slow-witted person? S for slow-witted. So, agar sharp-witted is somebody who is clever, slow-witted has to be somebody who is dumb, who doesn't understand things easily. His dimaag kabhi nere kaam karta hai. Right? Not in terms of actual time. Next one we have is mindless. Now, who is a mindless person? Again, somebody who is dumb. Who is an air-headed person? What do we understand by the word air-headed? Air-headed is somebody who is Silly, who makes silly mistakes. Then we have rustic. Rustic is again somebody who is simple. And then we have thick-headed. Again, somebody who is dumb. So all of these words are going away from smartness. Next we have, and on this note, we are up with 42 words. Yes, 42 words are up. Next in the list is pure. Pure is dull. All of us know what fear is, right? So, again, going towards the direction of fear, we have F for fright, E for edginess, A for angst, and next we have R for recoil. So, what is fright? When do you feel frightened? When you feel fearful. And what is edginess? The tension that you have when you feel anxiety, okay? So, that is when you're fearful of an event, maybe. And next we have angst. And what is angst? Is so again, when you experience fear, and next in the list we have is recoil. Now, what is recoil? When you pull yourself back because you are fearful about something. The way snake recoils itself when it it wants to go back, right? Exactly the movement of the snake. 
Next in the list, and going away from fear. So when you don't experience fear is F for fortitude, E for easiness, A for aplomb, and R for reverence. Fortitude means courage. Fortitude means courage. Easiness means relaxation. When you won't feel fearful, you will definitely feel relaxation. Now, what is aplomb? Aplomb is again assurance. When you are so when you are certain about a situation and when you are certain about an event, because fear is not just the fear that you feel from ghost. Fear comes up of a lot of many things. So aplomb is basically when you are assured of something and you not and you do not feel fearful about it. And reverence. Reverence means the deep respect that you have. So when you you are not fearful for a person, let us suppose you are your father. If you are fearful about him, that is where you would you will actually lack some sort of reverence for him. But when you are nowhere fearful, it's only respect that you have, right? And with this, we are up with good fifty words. Our target of fifty words is achieved in how much? In hardly. Let me check the time. So in. 18 minutes at the most, we are up with good 50 words, and which I am sure about you are going to remember. So all of these words are really going to help you in your writing skill. Wherever you, wherever you have to explain things, it's like you have to come across a lot of things. You have to write similar meaning words, or maybe the words that are exactly in the other direction, wherein you have to keep present differences, and those words don't strike us. So these are some. These are the words which are going to help you in all of those situations. Now, on this, we are going to wrap up with this, and we are going to land on our Telegram app uh, link. So this link basically, this this is the link that will help you to join an Academy ninth and tenth ka group. So now this group gets all these uh, gets all the links towards to, for the schedule of an Academy ninth and tenth ke free lectures that are. Happening over an academy or over YouTube. So if you're somebody who wants to get all the all the scheduled things and everything, quickly join this group that is tinyurl.com/slash/unacademy/chat. So this is your place, guys. Quickly join it. Next one in the list is the link for the playlist. So again, if you have missed out on any session that has happened in the past, or you want to revise and go through it again, this is your place. All that you have to do is tinyurlcom slash foundation mobile typed on your browser. So this is the link that you're supposed to type on your browser. And once you type it, this is the page that is going to open in front of you, which would contain all the lectures, subject-wise, chapter-wise, lecture-wise, and that too, along with the notes. And all of this is exactly free of cost. So there is there are no charges for using this link. So quickly go and check this out. In the very same manner, we are going to discuss the timetable. So quickly note down the timetable if you haven't yet. So this is the timetable for maths and science for class 9th as well as class 10th. So for, for maths, sessions are held at 4 to 4 30 by our expert educator, which is Kirby Ma'am. And for class 10, it is 5.30 to 6 o'clock, again by an expert educator with the survey map. So sessions are from Monday to Saturday. Now talking about science, class 9, ke liye science happens at 4.45 to 5.15. And for class 10, 6.15 to 6.45. And the best lot of teachers, which are Bhavna ma'am, Shweta ma'am and Vindya ma'am, takes up these lectures. So you guys should not miss it. And then there are special math sessions on Thursday. There are special math sessions on Thursday, so do not miss them. Next in the list is visualizing physics. So we have an expert educator amongst us. And if you haven't checked out his videos yet, do check those out. Remember the link for the playlist, use that to check it out. So his sessions happen at 3 o'clock, Monday, Wednesday for class 9, and Tuesday, Thursday for class 10. So Chandan sir makes you visualize physics and his mantra is learn by doing. So if you're somebody who do believes in that, do check out his videos. Next is next is your social science timetable. So social science classes are held at 7 o'clock by your favorite Dibakshi ma'am. So Monday, Wednesday for class 9, and Tuesday, Thursday for class 10. And then happens English at 7.45. Monday class 9 literature at 7.45, Tuesday class 10 literature at 7.45 and rest of the things happen at 
7:45 on Wednesday and Thursday. And today, a Mendy is going to happen at 7:45. So do not forget to join in. Right. Next one is the unacademy subscription. So if you are somebody who wants to gain, who who still feels that yes, there is there is this lack in my preparation that I still bear. So quickly join this platform, which offers you live classes. You get to interact with the educator. You have live polls and leaderboard. You have test series and analysis, and along with that, you have live doubt clearing sessions. So you would not miss out on anything. You get to interact with the educator, so you have that personalized experience. You have live polls and leaderboard to generate that competitive spirit, and then you have test series and analysis, so that you don't miss out on anything, and you know very well how well are you prepared. And then doubt clearing sessions give you that chance to clear out each and every doubt that you have in your entire syllabus. And all of this. is something that you would be getting from india's best educators and in multiple batches so basically these educators take up the classes in multiple batches and i am also one of them so if you are somebody who wants to learn from the best lot of teachers in india this is your place guys and how do you avail all this by downloading the an academy learning app just go and install once you do that just go on plus the platform which gives you all these features and then choose your goal so it can be foundation and ntsc for you class 9 or class 10 and then get subscription once you choose your goal something like this would open right in front of you so this is the billing page as per your goal so here is your goal and then over here you have various tenures now the step that is left is choosing your tenure so this tenure is going to give you the price variation so for one month so we have tenure starting from a month to 3 months 6 months 12 months and 24 months and again if you want to go for the maximum discounted offer please go for 12 months or 24 months because this is our personal recommendation taki aapko maximum discount mile because if you look here closely 24 months offer you more than 75% of discount so that makes it a steal deal because from 3500 a month you would be landing at 875 a month just by this increase in tenure and along with that your learning would continue till the time you don't give your exam and that is a must if you because even if you stop preparing before a month of your exam that is something which is not going to be proved so next and the most and the most important way of availing another discount is that you can achieve 10% discount with the usage of the referral code which is mansi live so mansi my name followed by live and eventually you will have to pay for good one year for good one year all the subjects you will have to pay 15750 and for good two years 18900 only so two years 18900 and one year 15750 so you know what is the most appropriate choice that you are supposed to make now moving ahead is the goal which is class 9 or class 10 so yahan pe again you have various tenures starting from months to 3 months 6 months and 12 months so with all of these tenures you have various price points starting at 2500 a month and going down to 104 to a month so on top of it you're you're able to avail 10% discount with the usage of the referral code mansi live and this 10% discount is going to land you at the amazing price of 9000 for all your subjects for 6 months and 11250 for all your subjects for good 12 months so be it math science social science english all of it would be covered here along with this if you are somebody who has watched this channel for the very first time do not forget to subscribe to the channel hit that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any updates and share this session with the hashtag live school daily and if you felt that it was it is something that the world should know and it is something that people should learn like so definitely share this session your various platforms your various social media jao ja ke share kar do is session ko jitna kar sakte ho and people should know that we have another form of learning now now next thing that we have is the only agenda that we cater here is let's crack it all we have to do is make you topple So for that we have other channels also running right like need je uh, an academy need sorry an academy need an academy je and school at an academy for 11th and 12th as well and on this note guys i am going to take a leave for the day so we'll be meeting again and definitely not not tomorrow also rather today only at 7:45 so see you at 7:45 today for a menti and till then thank